sharks, like all animals actually, produce heat. Mm -hmm. So just by being alive mm -hmm. and just by moving around, they produce heat. But water in particular has a really fantastic ability to suck heat out of the body of a shark. The body temperature is pretty much the same as the temperature of the water that they're swimming in. Okay. But there's a few species, mm -hmm. like the great white, that do something a bit different. So tell me, how are they different? Well, it's amazing. So great whites are one of about only five or six species. So only about 1% of shark species. Mm -hmm. They have this amazing capacity to retain their body heat, right. keep it inside their body and stop it from entering the water. So what these animals do, they have this incredible system, which we can see here, where these blue blood vessels coming back from the gills, right. They're arranged in this very specific and incredible way where instead of all the heat being lost to the gills from these warm red veins, by having them close together like this, it allows a lot of that heat from the warm veins to transfer, right, into the arteries so it stays within the body. So it okay. doesn't all get lost at the gills. And so why? Why have this? There's a few ideas, I guess. Yeah. One of the most traditional ones, perhaps, is that it might allow them to go into slightly cooler waters and there might be some advantages for them in terms of what they like to eat. Seals and sea lions. 100%. But there's also some other ideas too. Like? By keeping some of their central swimming muscles warmer, mm -hmm. so their, their chemical reactions work faster, the muscles are more powerful. And by doing that, we think it enables them to be these incredible, athletic, powerful, amazing animals that we think of when we think of a great white shark.